Hello friends and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you on how to use the authentication system by using the Blaze. Blaze is specific authentication system that you can use and it will handle all the stuff related to the login. It will give you some email notification to confirm and it will give you all other functionalities. I know many of you like to say that you can you, you can make your own login system from scratch but there's no need to do that where you can be able to use a framework that is pre-made that, that is pre-tested by engineers who ensured that the functionalities are as expected so i'm on my Lalaver uh, page on here i'm going to go to the documentation and on the documentation when you scroll down to where it's written packages you can see that there will be a lot of packages uh, inside here so let's click on package there will be uh, the first one will be the blaze i'm going to choose blaze and they will show us some of the steps that we really need to install the blaze on our system so as to be able to learn but before we do that i'm going to try to i uh, create a new laravel project and inside my uh, navigation i'm going to go on the specific folder on where I put my Laravel apps and this case it's in here and while I'm in here I'm going to open the CMD again I'm going to create a new project by using composer create project uh, create project uh, I'm going to put Laravel and uh, Laravel again and I'm going to call for example let me call this as breeze you can call it any name that you need and after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and press enter and it will try to make a new project. This can take a while, so I'm going to speed up so as to save some time. All right, cool. And once now our project is complete and after we have now successfully created a new project, I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to try to bring uh, the, our project into the code editor. In this case, I'm going to use the VS Code or Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to drag and drop on here to open with Visual Studio Code. And in this case, it will try to open our project and you will see the project structure. When it asks you to trust the authors, you can click on yes, I trust, I trust the authors. All right. So we are in here. So when you take a closer look, there will be a lot of files. But I want you to consider this file that I'm going to show you. The first folder is the database and you will go to where it's written migrations and there will be a lot of table in here for the users table, for the password resets table, for the failed jobs and for the personal access tokens table. And you have now to take a closer look to another file that is called .em, .env or the m file because that's where we will try to put our database. So let's go straight away so let's continue with this after doing this we need to open uh we need we need to install now breeze itself so to do that we are going to jump to the official website to see the requirements for the breeze to work and the first one is to install the dependencies the dependence number one that we're going to to install is this one i'm going to copy this i'm going to press on copy and after pressing on copy i'm going to come in here and paste it in here after doing that, I'm going to press enter and the same uh, uh, command prompt terminal that we opened. So we have to wait for this. It can take a while. So I'm going to speed up like always so to save time. All right, cool. And after all these dependencies are installed, we can go ahead and test if our application can be able to learn. To do that, I'm going to use PHP artisan like this one, serve. And once I do this, I can be able to copy this link. And when I try to put it in the browser, I will be able to see some page in here. So when you press enter, there will be this Laravel page. You can see that this is now the page that we can get by loading this uh, IP address and the specific port. That will be uh, the one from the server, from the Laravel server in here. So I'm going to try to install the uh, Blaze and you will see the change on the page. So I'm going to press Ctrl C to, uh, to exit this. And after doing this, I'm going to continue with the instruction process and I'm going to install the Blaze itself. I'm going to copy this 
and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to press enter and wait. If you can see that it was able now to install the breeze scaffolding installed successfully, but we are not done yet. We have also to install this uh, npm and npm plan dev. I'm going to copy this and once I reach in here, instead of writing dev, I'm going to write build. I'm going to write build and I'm going to, uh, to remove this square bracket and press enter. And you have to wait for these processes too. Wonderful. And once this is now complete, we can go ahead and go to the page again and try to refresh and see what will happen. When you come back on here, but before we go there, we have to start the server again by pressing the PHP artisan serve. And once the server is started, you can go back to the page on where we were and try to refresh. You will see there will be these two buttons. They will be for the login and for the register. When you press on the login button, you can see that it was able to bring this login. And when you try to click on register, you can see that it will bring this register alongside with this and for the forgot password. All right, cool. And this is now the confirmation that our Breeze was installed successfully. But one more step, we need to do what we call database migrations. We are going to create the, the, the database and after doing that, we will try to migrate these or, or, all these folders in here or this, I mean all these files in here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create the database by using my SQL. So I'm going to use the share. I'm going to use my SQL like this. I'm going to create a database. Database and I'm going to call this brace. And you see that the database will be created successfully. And I'm going to minimize this. Minimize this again. And inside your env file or .env file, this is where we're going to define the name of our database. And the name, by the default, it was called Laravel. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to type the, the specific database name. And the, uh, the username will be the root. After doing this, I'm going to go ahead and click on save. After saving, when you come back on here to see all the steps that will, uh, that are involved, you can see that there will be another uh, command that is called PHP at sign migrate. I'm going to copy this and in here, uh, I'm going to cross and I'm going to paste it in here. So I'm going to press enter and wait for a bit. And in this case, to try to make what you call migrations. And when you try to come back on this uh, table that we, or this database that we did, and you try to use the breeze tab, the breeze database, and try to show tables in here, consider there will be all these folders, or uh, I mean, or there will be all these tables that we have seen by using the VS Code like this one. So now we can be able to uh, to add one one users, or, or we can test it out something here. And by doing here, I'm going to call, for example, let me call this user as Han Media. You can call the name whatever you need. And the email, for example, I'm going to put Han Media at gmail.com. And I'm going to put uh, my secret password here and press on register. In this case, what to we do? Uh, oh, one more thing. I, I, forgot to, I forgot to restart the server again. All right, so I'm going to click on reload and continue. And in this case, to create our, our user as a media and to try to create it on our database. And after doing that, we try to log as in. As you are seeing, I'm having this dashboard as my home page, and I was able to log in. I can be able to log out again and try to log in. And here I'm going to provide all the required information as hanmedia at gmail.com and I can provide the password that I did. You can see that I was able to be logged in again. Let me leave this for the part one. I will come with part two to show you the functionalities of this brace. So see you in there.